What's good everyone? In today's video, we're gonna talk about the strategies I use to pass the Linux Plus exam on the first try. Let's get into it. So welcome everybody to the channel. And like I said, in today's channel, we're gonna learn about the strategies I use to pass the Linux Plus, the CompTIA Linux Plus exam on the first try. So first I wanted to say that the most important thing that I've realize when study for these certifications these type of certifications especially with CompTIA is good to go to go to the actual source so here I went to uh, before anything before I even had a plan or a strategy of how I was going to study the first thing I did I came to the CompTIA website and went to the CompTIA Linux Plus page and what I did was I just read I sat here and I read about what Linux Plus provides um what skills like right here like what skills you will learn and like right here, they'll show you the different jobs that you can get while having the Linux Plus exam. So the uh, the most, like I said, the most important thing on this page is this page right here, the exam details. So the exam details, it tells you like, for example, here that maximum 90 questions, multiple choice and performance based. So, you know, multiple choice as the name implies, you pick A through whatever, usually it's A through D or A through E, whatever. And then performance based is basically they give you a scenario where you have to run a certain command or you have to come up um, with a, troubles it's a troubleshooting problem and you have to find the best way or the best way to solve that problem using whatever they give you. Maybe it's a choice of commands. Maybe there's some way, I know in the exam it was more of a, you can choose the command in a certain order that you would run it in order for that, um, in order to fix the problem or get the result that they're asking for in the exam. Um, Again, they tell you, you always want to know the passing score. Here's a 720 on a scale of 100 to 900. Um, they tell you, to be honest with you, they tell you they have 12 months of hands-on experience. Um, CompTIA A+. Plus. I have, I never, I never went for the CompTIA A+, because I just had, uh, I kind of, the training I had through the, through the military, I kind of uh, passed that or surpassed that level. So I went straight for my Network Plus. But to be honest with you, you don't really need 12 months. It's good. It's recommended, like they said. But if you've been using Linux for a while, like with me, I've been using Linux since 2010 when I started back in college. Um, just learning the basics of how to set everything up, especially when I learned C++ and learn how to, you know, um, gzip files, tar, you know, gzip tar, um, unzip files, compile um, files when you want to run a certain, com uh, run a, pro a C++ program and all that stuff. So when you had that in your back pocket and then you also been playing around as I have with Linux based machines, usually I played around with Ubuntu and Fedora. Fedora being the closest to Red Hat and Ubuntu is like everybody damn near uses that for small projects production um use it in practice in development s situations um as long as you have that background you have a good enough knowledge of it you could prepare for this exam easy um again like i said it comes in english japanese of course and this is becoming english and then like the price you can view the price um in the card or whatever but we're not going to sit there and, and do that but to be honest well so when i went and bought the exam i did buy the exam plus the it was the um the it was a package so you buy the exam voucher and you also get the training with it through CompTIA themselves um i didn't really use the training through CompTIA because i had other means which i'll show later in the video but when i went through some of it it did really help and everything excuse me i gotta take a drink of my mountain dew bro hey mountain dew baja blast man best mountain dew made but um yeah i use other means of training um and learning linux and everything like i said again i'll show later on in the video so in order for you to get your practice questions and the exam objectives or just the exam objectives which i did you just fill out this form right here and you agree to it submit it and you can have a choice between getting practice questions and the exam, the exam objectives or just the exam objectives in my case i just got the objectives so my next step was once I got the objectives, I just read through this whole thing. Literally, I the before studying anything, I just read through the, each objective and each sub objective. Literally, just read through it to understand what I'm going to be learning. Right to understand, maybe I already had learned this. Like for example, like in past 
in the past before I studied, I learned about F dis and parted and part probe. I learned about dispartitioning. I already knew about that. I knew about mounts, like mounting um, external devices to your Linux machine. I learned about that already. Um, same thing with killing processes, looking up processes using HTOP um, or using TOP itself. HTOP is a more graphical uh, is more graphical than using TOP the uh, the C about uh, C about processes. So like I just went through here and like stuff that I already like if config tools like if config host name all that dealing with routing network management and everything like I already knew that, about that already. Um, the different package managers you have apt apt get yum yum is used for Fedora. Um, D DPK G um dealing with packages themselves like I've I've done. Like most of these, most of this stuff I already learned, like SSH and you know, network time protocol dealing with um, time on your servers and everything, making sure everything is synchronized time wise within your network. So your different servers should be always synced together with time because that could always interfere with updates and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so that's what I did. So I went through this. I just read through everything and just found out like some stuff that, oh, okay, I already knew this or, or I already know that. I was like, okay, cool. Just to prepare myself to study. So once I went through all this, then I went and used my favorite learning platform called Udemy. So this is my Udemy account. So yeah, you can see a lot of stuff that I kind of dabble into and everything like that. But one of the main, this is one of my favorite courses I've been through. Um, this is the Linux Administrator, the complete Linux boot camp for 2024. I'm not going to lie, like this whole, this, this right here, this course right here really helped me out. Uh, my brother um, is using it as well to get his Linux Plus exam, um, study for the Linux Plus exam. And he really, he told me literally that the stuff that he learned about Linux um, in college, it wasn't even close to what he learned in here. Like it was basically maybe half of what he learned in college and the rest he learned using this course. So like I said, this course, if you look up this course, again, it's the Linux administration, the complete Linux bootcamp for 2024. Please look that up. I'm telling you, it will help you when preparing for the Linux exam. He has uh, at, at the end of each um, lesson, he has a quiz. And then along with the quiz, he does have ways of you basically spinning up a Linux machine and practicing the actual commands. Usually what I would do when I watch these videos, I watch the video one time, maybe twice. And then I say the first time I watch it, the second time I'll literally spin up a Linux machine, a Linux instance, and I'll just go ahead and just type it out. No matter if it's in AWS or I'll show you later on how I spin up. Cause I use, I'm using a Mac. I'll show you how I spin up my Linux machines um, on a Mac machine. But yeah, this one right here, like I said, really helped me out. Um, when preparing for the Linux Plus exam, another resource that I use was um on YouTube, Learn Linux TV. So the man by the name of Jay here, like this man is very very knowledgeable when it comes to Linux and Linux based systems. Anything dealing with Linux, this man knows everything. And literally, I just went on his videos, and I just been look this. I watched it like it was TV. That's literally like. I would get up and I watch maybe one hour of videos from him and just learn about a certain command or learn about a certain process or learn how he did this or look at a lab that he's doing and follow along. And like one of the playlists, if I could find the playlist, one of the playlists, the, I use the Linux Crash Course playlist here that you can see. So I, I use this one. And I think that was the only one I used for the time being. But if you view his playlist, like literally, Everything you learn, like from like managing groups to X slash so Etsy says FS FS tab, which dealing with file systems, right? Symbolic links, hard links, learning about the app command, installing updates, learn about the grep command when you're trying to find something within a file or find something throughout a file system or throughout Linux itself. Um, the echo bash history, um, ping command we get, like if you want to download something, um, off the internet, right. And you want to download it via command line or bash, right. Bash command line, boom, use W get, I said we get, but W get the DF and DU command, you know, um, this up, I think it's, uh, like this file, I think file systems after, like I said, I, I got the. Some, like I said, some of the stuff, I'm gonna be honest with you. Some of the stuff that you learn with Linux. You will learn it 
but you're only going to learn more of it until you start doing more of it. So, like, I know more about making, um, using user ad, user mod, group ad, group mod to add um, users to the system, to add um, groups to the system, adding users to certain groups, adding certain process or certain applications to certain groups to have access without restarting the whole Linux machine. You know what I'm saying? So, like, the more you start, the more you start using certain commands, the better you get. You know, um, that's why I kind of learned with the Linux Plus exam that you're not going to know everything. Be honest with you. You're not going to know everything about the Linux Plus exam. It's a very, it's a hard exam. I'm not saying it's impossible, but it's hard. But I'm telling you right now, when you sit there and you study for it, don't try to remember. You can remember it, but don't try to force yourself to remember everything. Nobody remembers everything. One thing I learned being an IT being a system administrator, IT support specialist, like there are some things that you will have to Google or look up because you may forget because you're not used to doing that all the time. You're not used to doing that process all the time until you get that process. You're doing it multiple times. You get it down. Then it gets to a point to where like, okay, it's memory, you know, but um, just remember, like, you're not going to remember everything. You're not going to remember, sit there and remember every single command, every single switch that w goes with that command. You're not going to remember all that. Okay. Try the best of your ability to remember, but I'm telling you, you're not going to remember everything, all right? Don't stress out. Don't stress yourself out on that. Please don't. So that's one way. Like I said, these are the ways I use. So this is where I use my Linux. So for a Mac machine, this is what I use to practice. So you see I got Virtual Machine, Kali Linux Machine, Unavail, I got to delete that one. And I have a Windows 11 machine. That's for something else. That's when I was um, working with Active Directory. But anyway... This is where I, I use UTM. UTM is a, um application um, created for Mac in order for you to spin virtual machines on your Mac um, Mac device, or your Mac laptop. And I, basically what I did was I went, if I wanted to add to it, I go down to, I download a pre-built one and they have a whole list, a library of pre-built. I choose Ubuntu 2020, uh, 22.04. I click that, it, it automatically downloads and installs it into my UTM program right here and what they have to do is press the play button and it spins it right up and then from that point on i'm just practicing so i have the video work um say for example if i'm in my room i have the video running on my tv and i'll just be there following along on my virtual machine and just boom 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 practicing this practicing that making sure i got this making sure i got that so yeah so that is it um those are the ways i've used or the tools i've used the resources i've used uh to Prepare for myself for the Linux Plus exam and how I pass on the first try. Again, don't stress yourself out. Don't sit there and try to remember everything. Remember just enough to get to get you to understand the concept and understand Linux the Linux based system, the old operating system. But don't try don't stress yourself out trying to remember every single switch, every single like command with the every single switch. Don't try to do that. I'm telling you. Don't do that. It's like like learning, like I said, you're learning an operating system. It's like learning Windows, like learning everything from the like the DLL files all the way to whatever how pro, like every how programs are run, the different programs are run to uh, like command line, all that stuff. You're learning an operating system. Just remember that. The operating system is a large program, man. I'm telling you. It's a program that runs other programs. It's a system that runs other programs. I'm telling you. Don't stress yourself out. If you found this video valuable. Hit the like down below and subscribe to find to get more content sent to your sent your way about exams I've taken and my input on the exam and maybe you know the stuff that I've used the stuff that I've learned can help you out in making it easier for you to take the exam. Um, thank you for listening. Thank you for your time and patience. And until next time, this is the Ted IT sign off. Peace.